I wanted to do something a little different today. I wanted to have fun with a video for once and kind of talk about something that a lot of people were talking about. Is it physically or scientifically possible to have a zombie apocalypse or uh, an illness that would cause a zombie outbreak? Well, I'm sure to your surprise, it actually is possible. And the way that it is possible is there is something called a prion. And a prion is a small, tiny, little, misfolded, mutated protein that when it gets into your body, it will get into your brain and cause all the other proteins to misfold and mutate. So that disease is called CJD or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. That is the same disease that causes mad cow disease in cows. Now, from what I understand and from what I've read is it is the variant CJD that causes crazy behavior and zombie-like motions and uh, behavior. So let me just show you a little clip and then we'll get back into it. So we're not in the middle of a zombie play right now, but there are certain diseases out there that are mutating in strange ways. It seems like they could possibly lead to a zombie sickness. A couple of the most compelling ones are prion diseases. Now, a prion is a protein, a mutated protein that when it gets in your brain, it mutates all the other proteins in your brain. Mad cow disease is a prion disease. Mad cow disease in people is called CJD or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. So new indications with CJD is that the symptoms are changing and it's becoming more easily passed from one person to another and from animal to human. Uh, so much so that some of the new symptoms include in late stages, uh, violent aggression. Some experts have recommended that if someone starts showing advanced signs of variant CJD, VCJD, you should lock them in a room, let them go violently insane until they die because if they attack you and bite you, they could potentially spread the sickness to you and then you will go violently insane and spread it on. That's exactly the premise of Zombieland. Another obvious candidate is rabies. The Zombie Research Society has interviewed several virologists that have suggested that it would not be impossible to combine a highly deadly strain of rabies with say a highly deadly strain of the flu, uh, mix in a few other viruses to sort of cause this uh, super virus. To so what do you guys think about that? I've read a lot of papers on this and I wasn't really sure how to put this video together. I'm just going to leave it short, sweet, and simple, and I'm going to leave some goodies for you guys in the description box to check out for yourself. Because we all know that I can't say certain things on here. So, the formal name of this, and you'll see it in a lot of papers if you actually go and look this up, is transmissible bovine spongy form encephalopathy. And, you know, it just wreaks havoc on people's brains. And depending on what variant of the Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease you get, they can be transmitted differently and people act differently. Now there is a severe um, form where it causes you to become, well, first people will start noticing behavior changes and then people start getting very, very aggressive and towards the late stages, they go insane. And from what I understand is if you're bitten, it can be transmitted to you. I couldn't really find anything on droplets, like breathing droplets through the air, but, um, there have been cases where caretakers have come down with it. So it's kind of cool and crazy at the same time. And I'm also going to link in the description box a study that um, I believe it was the university. Yes, the University of South Carolina. And when you pull it up, it's going to look like this. And 
And when you scroll down, it starts talking about how it affects your body, how it gets into your body, and how it moves through your body. And there can be incubation periods up to like 10 to 12 years before people start showing symptoms. And then once they start showing symptoms from the time of their onset, of like their diagnosis, they have about a year it's fatal and there is no um, cure for this or treatment, unfortunately. So with that, I'm going to keep this short and sweet, like I said, but I am leaving goodies for you in the description box. I apologize for not putting much content out this week, guys, but oh, it's been a rough week. We just got back from a 10 day vacation and my kiddo is having, was having a really hard time this week, kind of getting back into the groove of school and, um, you know, I just really didn't feel like making videos, to be honest, because it's been a rough few days. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Don't forget to check out the description box and I will have another video out to you soon. I might do a live tomorrow night for my birthday. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.